Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Laura of Laura Plans It, and today I wanted to talk to you about self-care during the most stressful time of year, the holidays. Now, one of the things that I think I talk about a lot on my Instagram page, and I try to mention it here on YouTube, but I just, I don't really seem to get the time to do that as much as I'd like to on my Plan With Me videos, is self-care. And, and I will preach this to you until I am blue in the face and I promise I am no expert and I am not perfect and I don't always do self-care either. But I think it's really, really important. And I touched on this last week in the vlog because Erin Condren, when I was able to have a phone call interview with her, she and I spoke about self-care and what her form, favorite form of self-care is. And I kind of touched on what mine was. But the last week I've kind of been thinking about, oh, what do I want to talk about in my vlog? It'll be my last one before Christmas. And I don't know if I'll have time to do one between Christmas and New Year's. So maybe it'll just be a fun, happy holidays message, which I do wish you a very happy holiday. However, that's not what I want to leave you with for the end of 2019, going into a new decade, 2020. Um, what I really want to say to you is take time for you. And I don't mean take selfish time. There's a really big difference between self-care and indulgence. And I don't want you to indulge in things that are going to be bad for you or take away from everyday life. And I don't want you to ruin your budget by indulging. What I want you to do is take some time to take care of you. And what I mean by that is whether it be five minutes or 15 minutes, 20 you know, take 20 and 20 is what the Aaron Condren slogan is for this year. Whatever it is that will help you recharge and reset your batteries every day, you need to do. So for some people, that's journaling. For others, that might be taking a bubble bath or having a glass of wine after the kids go to bed. Or you might be waking up early in the morning so you can have your coffee by yourself. Any of those things, if they help clear your mind and help get you into a great mental state for your day and for your week, that's what you really need to be working on. And so what I'm, I'm asking you to do right now is leave a comment below and tell me, how do you practice self-care? What is your best way of doing that? I know for many of us in the planner community, our planners are our self-care and they're how we kind of express ourselves creatively and clear our minds and get things together. But not all of us do that. My planner is not my self-care. Um, if anything, it's just my lifeline <laughs> to keep me afloat on really busy days. For me, my self-care is, is taking a shower, getting my makeup done, maybe doing my nails, none of which I've done today. Sorry about that. Um, last week I had surgery, and so I'm still recovering and recuperating, and I don't really like to stand up a whole lot right now. So that said... I really do want to know what your form of self-care is. And my Christmas wish is that you guys will spend this holiday season and the rest of 2020 making sure that you take 5 to 15 minutes to recharge your batteries every day, whether it be morning, noon, or night, whatever it is that you need, 5 to 15 minutes and do that. So please leave a comment below. Let me know how you plan on recharging your batteries uh, in 2020 and for the holiday season. Please let me know what you're doing for Christmas. I would love to hear what everybody's doing. We're staying home. Um, we stay home every Christmas. We invite our family over, whether or not they come. But we do invite our families over, and we like to have a Merry Christmas at home where Santa can bring the kids stuff for their stockings right here at our house and we will be home all season long so I'm really excited about that and um I'd love to know also because I was really curious about this the other day what is your like favorite holiday tradition so mine is and it's a newer one in my life um I guess I really have two so I really love setting up my Christmas village which I first was given a village piece when I got engaged to my husband we've been married over 10 years now so I have a lot of village pieces. And then my other favorite tradition is not really Christmas, but Christmas Eve. Uh, my family grew up opening our presents Christmas Eve and having seafood dinner Christmas Eve, which I, I hear is a, an Italian tradition, which I'm part Italian, so I guess that makes sense. Um, but marrying into my husband's family, they are Christmas morning gifts, guys, Christmas morning morning. So we have compromised. And so every Christmas Eve, we do a seafood dinner 
whether it be something we cook at home or we go out. We try to go out. The last couple of years we've done hibachi, which is really cool. And we open one present. And it's usually a present that I've picked especially for the kids to open. This year they're getting fuzzy socks, guys which if you follow me on Instagram, you know how much I love those. And they both asked for socks this year. So I'm so excited. So please let me know your favorite holiday traditions, how you're going to do some self-care in 2020 and over the holidays. What are you doing for the holidays? Have a conversation with me right down here in the comments. I love talking to you guys and hearing everything that's going on with you. If you like this video, I hope you'll hit like. And of course, if you'd like to see more vlog videos with me, please subscribe to my channel. And if you tap the bell, that'll turn on notifications so you're always alerted when a new video comes up. And for behind the scenes, sneak peeks, and what I'm doing right this instant, head on over to my Instagram, at Laura Plans It. Thanks so much for watching.